Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech related tips and content. If this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release some new content. In last week's video I showed you how to put key pair authentication on an existing DigitalOcean droplet. Today we're going to take a look at creating a DigitalOcean droplet using key pair authentication right from the start. That being said, let's hop over to the computer. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm already signed into my DigitalOcean account. Now, if you don't have a DigitalOcean account, you can easily create one. In fact, I have an affiliate link down in the video description. Now, you don't have to use that link, but if you decide to use it, you'll earn $100 credit towards your account from DigitalOcean. That being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's video we need to create a droplet. Now, just as an aside, if you already have droplets, they would appear in this area here. And to add an additional droplet, you would just simply come up to the green Create button, click on it, and choose Droplets. But since we don't have any existing droplets in this project, we can go ahead and get started by clicking here where it says Get Started with the Droplet. This brings us to the Create Droplets page, and here we have to make a couple of choices and decisions regarding our droplet. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use all the basic choices. However, you need to make choices that meet your needs. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and create my droplet using Ubuntu 18.04.3 LTS. The starter plan is fine. I'm going to drop the monthly plan down from $40 a month to $5 a month for the purpose of this video. And then I'm going to choose a data center and New York is fine, region one. Now in this step, we're gonna select SSH keys instead of one-time password like we did when we created the Jitsi Meet server. Now you do have a choice of using existing keys or creating a new SSH key. And that's what we're going to do. We're gonna use the new SSH key option. Now. That being said, I've already created my key pair, and if you want to know how to do that, just refer to the video I made last week, Top Tips for Securing Your Digital Ocean Droplet. You can see the process in that video. So what I'm gonna do now is minimize this screen, and we're gonna go out and get our key pair. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the ID underscore RSA dot pub, which is the public key, and we're gonna copy that information. I'm just going to select it all and say copy. And then we can close that and close that. Let's go back to our DigitalOcean account. And now that we have the public key copied, we can click on new SSH key. And we're just going to paste the contents that we copied to the clipboard here. We're going to give the public key a name. For this video, we'll just call it YouTube demo and say add SSH key. And now you can see here U2 demo has been added. The next step is to give this droplet a host name. So we'll call it YouTube demo dot click tech solutions dot com. And we'll finally we'll come down and we'll click on create droplet. And now it's creating the droplet. Once the process finishes, it will issue us an IP address. And there we go. So now that we've successfully created our DigitalOcean droplet, we should be able to sign in using key pair authentication. So I already have my terminal app open and I have the command in. And what we're saying here is to SSH into the droplet using the root user. So it says SSH and then the path to where the private key is being stored, the user, and then at the IP address of the droplet. So if everything works out correctly, we should be able to authenticate without a problem. So let's go ahead and hit return. And then it says, are you sure you want to continue connecting? And we'll say yes. And there you go. And we're successfully authenticated as root to our new DigitalOcean droplet using key pair authentication. Now that you are able to log into your new droplet, you can go ahead and follow the steps that I covered in last week's video, top tips for securing your DigitalOcean droplet. 
However, just note, as an aside, when you create a droplet the way we did today using key pair authentication from the start, password authentication is disabled by default. So what we have to do in order to be able to copy up the public key to that second new user, we're going to have to enable password authentication. Let me show you what I mean. So we're signed in and we're just going to type in nano. Etsy SSH underscore config and hit return. And now let's scroll down. And you can see permit root login, yes. And you see here where it says password authentication. No, you're going to want to change this to yes, and then go ahead and save the file. Once you've completed this step and saved this file, remember to restart SSH using the system control space restart space SSHD command. Once that's done, then you can go ahead and follow all of the other steps that we covered in last week's video to secure your new droplet. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.